We're starting this workout spicy. Spicy as in my mood. I made like that better than a bench. That felt nice. So here we are. We are in our first exercise for this full body workout today. All of the benches were taken. So we had to think on our feet and find a solution ASAP. There is this beautiful piece of equipment that I'm on here right now that mimics the same thing that a bench press would mimic. Except it's like having your own spotter. So, first set is done, two more to go, 10 reps per set. I think I'm gonna keep it on that weight because uh, I don't want my chest being too sore tomorrow. It's been like a week and a half since I've trained chest, so yeah. good I actually don't think I even need to increase my weight because the last like three reps of that set are very challenging so any more weight would just cause me to lose proper form and that ain't the way to do it when you um, compound you know a chest exercise over five days that's this entire volume in the course of just five days rather than like one day and you allow more recovery period in between those five days than just smashing a full on chest day. So yeah, full body is dope. However, people do at the beginning are like, oh, that's it? That's all, that's it for the, for the full body? For the for day, but like do it over the course of like a week, two weeks, four weeks, six weeks, eight weeks. nice that's real nice up next we're gonna do some hyper extensions with the barbell that we're gonna focus more on the glute and the hamstring throughout it so we're gonna go do three sets ten reps each let's go That is a burner. I saw this hilarious thing on Instagram where it was like, so why are you taking pictures of your booty? And then it's like, nobody sees how much protein I've eaten over the last eight years. Nobody's seen how many hip thrusts I've done over the last eight years. 
It's all because I've been working to build this Rudy over the last eight years. Ain't nobody has seen that, so I want to show it off or something like that. <laughs> Pretty funny. Anyway, on to the next set. This thing. Woo. Woo. I want more of that. All right, last set, last set, best set, last set, three, re three, three, ten reps. All right, what do we got next? Oh, I can just open up the trusty old Warrior Babe app. Let's go. All right, we got some banded pull-ups. Well, what I'm gonna do is see how many I can do body weight and then I can finish out banded. So if you're more advanced, do body weight first and then finish out the, re the rep set or the rep numbers with banded. If you're a beginner, do all of this banded. If you can't even do banded, you can jump up into the pull up and then lower yourself down or use a box to get yourself up to it. Anyway, on that note, I'm gonna re-rack my weight. People, re-rack your weights. And we're gonna go do some pull ups. See, this, this is what it looks like. You pick up the weight and you go put it back where you found it. Just like that. It's not that hard. Three sets, 10 reps. Back day was yesterday. Back day was yesterday. Is this your first show, first rodeo, Nikki? Jesus. Heavier band. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's any. I'll just suck it up. Can you double up on this one? Double up like band? There's not any more bands in there. It's alright, I'll just suck it up. Damn. My pull-up game is weak. Fuck 
set. Last set, best set. My motto for every set. Serious question. How long are you guys able to keep white shoes white? I'm nearing like six weeks right now. All right, let's go. I'm gonna go till failure. man it ain't happen today sometimes you just have those days all right since I can't do a pull-up this is what and if you guys can't do a pull-up and if you are a beginner with pull-ups and you want to work on your pull-up strength this is what I recommend you guys do get a box it needs to be a smaller one either get a box or you can get a bench And you can, what you can do is like jump up into it. And then lower yourself down. <sighs> My back is so weak from back day yesterday. Those negatives, you holding yourself up there and slowly lowering yourself down will help with uh, the strength of your back to be able to help you fully do body weight pull-ups in the long term. So the stages are for this one first, is like jumping up and then doing a negative down, jump up, do a negative down. And then once you get stronger with doing that, you can incorporate this band and you can do uh, banded pull-ups and you obviously want to get like a stronger, a stronger band. So it's a little bit easier for you. And then the last stage would be able to be doing full, full pull-ups with your body weight. Next up is the Smith Machine shoulder press. And I think the Smith Machine just opened, so. So the best way you can set up this whole exercise with a bench on the Smith Machine and like be in the right alignment to that you're just using your shoulders and like you're not in a position where you could mess them up is having a really straight flat back with the bench and then you got you might have to maneuver it like five to ten different times to get like the right placement but essentially like a nice 90 degree angle that is a little bit cocked forward with your arm under the placement of the bar and your shoulder is a great alignment spot for you to know that you're in the right position Let's say like if I was to move the seat back a little bit, my arms would be like way more forward out in front of me, almost like on a diagonal to what I'm seeing on this side. And like you're, you could feel the weight all is like on my neck. <laughs> and like, you just, I can just feel it's not right. It's like all right here. So moving myself up a little bit to where I was. It's perfect. I can feel it's all shoulders. It's too light for me, so I need to add a little bit more weight. And I don't know if I said this yet. That's why it's so light. It was only 10 pounds on one side. I didn't say it yet. 
We're doing three sets, 10 reps for the Smith Machine shoulder press. And we did shoulders yesterday. Wow. No wonder my back and my shoulders are so sore. All right, let's do this. Last set. I feel like they're gonna explode. The pumpkins are overcooked. <laughs> Second to last exercise, we have some inclined skull crushers. We're gonna do three sets, 12 reps each. Those creep up. I'm like, oh wow, this is way too easy weight right now. Like five or six reps in, and all of a sudden, the last three, I'm like, okay. I'm like, my God, this is so heavy. Not heavy, but like, this is like challenging. Last exercise, we got some biceps. We're gonna do some rope hammer curls. Let's go. We'll up it.
you guys. That's a wrap. There is a reason that you guys stayed until the end of this video. It's probably to see what type of exercises you could do that makes up an entire workout. I get it, I've been in your shoes. I have walked into the gym not knowing exactly what I should be doing. And that is the reason, one of the reasons why I created the Warrior Babe program. Take the thought out what you should be doing, have it already made for you by one of our expert coaches, plus have nutritional guidance and accountability all bucketed together walking into the new year with confidence. You'll have everything that you need to help you reach your goals. Check out warriorbabe.com in the description below and I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.